Hi there everyone. My name is Vahin Sharma. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a ping pong game in Scratch 2.0. So first thing is um, open your browser and open the website called Scratch. <coughs> okay, Scratch.mit.edu or something like that. Or otherwise, if you have one, go and open that. Okay, I have opened my Scratch 2.0. Now, first thing is to delete this cat. We don't need this cat. Now, first go to the backdrops. Um, choose backdrop. This X Y grid. Now, I also got it. Now choose a sprite. Choose this ball. Mm, set it to zero degree. Wait. Uh, yeah, make it to zero. Click this here, like this. It's now in X and Y is zero. Now, as you done, make it. I mean shrink it a little bit okay this much is enough now go to the events when the screen flag is clicked uh, point in direction 45 now go to the forever uh, motions Move, change this 10 steps to 15 steps. <coughs> you can also copy mines if you have trouble or problem to copy uh, memorize. It. Okay, as you done now, mm, as you done now, it will work. Let's see how it's working. Yeah, it's moving correctly. But um, it should be in zero. This two should be in zero. Okay, now wait. You can make it to x and by zero by changing this here and clicking it. Okay, now if on it bounce now it will work properly mm. now clean it up <coughs> now you need your paddle mm. you can paint one on if you have it just take that I'm gonna paint mine I'll choose green or any color you can choose if you don't have a paddle make it this much thin Make a line, this much line. Okay, if as you done, uh, make it till here. Here, okay. As you done, now go to the script. Which set the x to zero. Okay. Wait, make it like this this one is correct now um, wait as you finished now um, now go to the events um, when this right arrow is clicked motion uh, move when wait um, 15 steps now it will move 15 steps as I click my right arrow now duplicate it set this to left arrow minus 15 steps now see it is working isn't it okay as you done now let's see how it says
it's everything is correct please set it now <clears throat> go to the ball set this wait um wait you should uh, again when this green flag is clicked um, this ball then forever um, if if this one goes to sensing touching if it's touching the if it's touching the sprite one or paddle then um, it will see what will do it will just rotate 180 degrees okay now clean it up again now it will work perfectly as a normal ping pong game okay now we have done the bouncing part now let's see um choose the backdrop now we don't need this xy grade now oh, before doing that we need to set something mm -hmm. go to the balls go to x and y this one okay now same for the paddle mm. when this one is clicked motion go to a uh, x 8 y 8, minus 89 okay now you have finished it now go to the backdrop now we don't need this delete it now take this now select this neon tunnel or you can choose this brick wall one and choose this neon tunnel this is quite good mm. as you're done now you have to edit it uh, create a red line down here okay as you done now let's see how wait, we have to do it again okay this much is enough now now go to the balls again now again go to events when this one is clear wait wait not here go to if 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 the ball is mm, touching the color in this one mm, then mm, go to control stop all okay now it will work as a normal one okay now as you finish now we should add scores right now go to the data make a variable name it score oh, wait name it as your score is now you should you have to make it always visible not invisible okay otherwise how will they know what is their score now go to the uh, place this block in this here wait uh, before this forever okay now put this uh, your score is now change by one okay not one make it to five okay before this now you got this now let's read what is the block you should learn how to read this block otherwise means these languages otherwise how will you be a real programmer okay or if you want to or if you want to be a okay now let's read when this green flag is clicked the score will be set as zero now after that every time <coughs> when it will pray when it will touch this paddle 
the score will change by 5 and it will turn 180 degrees and it will bounce also and if it's touching the red color then it will stop everything now we got everything correct now go to the sounds we'll add sounds to make it more in interactive and we'll uh, first select this Elliot Crip. now go to sounds uh, wait this one yeah play alien play sound alien click until done now another one okay let's see it um i think we should select this one from here effects I think we'll where is this going? Okay, we'll we'll select the zoop. Now play a zoop sound. Um yeah before this. Before turn 180 degree, place this one. Oh no, after this. After this. Okay, as you done. Now let's um, select this sound. Wait, it. Where is it? We went to it. Right? Space ripple. Um, play the sound before. Uh, after. Uh, before doing all the scripts. Play sound ripple. Space ripple. Okay. Now it's done. I'll clean up everything. Now save it. Save as in Scratch product. I should I'll save as ping pong. Three point oh. Okay, as, as it said, you will see the name here. Now let's see how it is. One sec. Let's see what mm, it's working perfectly. So, thank you all guys for watching my video. Thank you all guys for watching my video. For more videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to <coughs> see my channel, the link is in the description below. So, have a nice time. Bye. No, yes. <laughs> Thanks.